Greetings, fellow YouTube users. <laughs> oh man, I just thought I'd change up the beginning. Anyway, what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping into this video today. My name, if you don't know it, well, it is Danny Coldblood, A to the K to the A, my music video. And in this video, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, is going to be a brand new discovery within Red Dead Redemption 2. A brand new easter egg has surfaced and I am going to go ahead and show that first. I'm going to go ahead and begin the video basically with the easter egg. So if you're wondering why the video length is a little longer than maybe you would expect for just an easter egg, well this is the thing. If you want a little bit more than just an easter egg, if you're one of the viewers here today that is more interested in the unsolved mysteries within gaming, well then you can go ahead and stay watching the video as it plays because I went from the easter egg and I blended it right into a mystery episode for you all. I hope you all enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So we are going to go ahead and begin in Armadillo. It's not really the nicest of places. I mean, in Red Dead 1, it wasn't bad at all, but in Red Dead 2, you'll see, you know, piles of, like, burning, like, skin, <laughs> like, death, <laughs> just a pile of just, ugh, on the ground, smoldering. Frankly, I can imagine being there in real life, like, if this place existed, and it would probably just give me the heebie-jeebies, because it's just nasty, okay? The people look nasty, they've got this water, like, cholera crap going on. Basically, the water's not good to drink, and you gotta drink water to live, so they're being tortured by water! <laughs> anyway, seriously, there is just not much going on here anymore, but there is some suspicious stuff going on around here, and that's how we're gonna connect things together if you decide to stay after the Easter egg, which we're getting to in one moment. Just in case you didn't know, this is kind of suspicious and weird as well. Some people laying around on the ground that are dead, okay, I don't want you to think they're sleeping, they have glowing eyes. It is the weirdest thing in the world. They're not just like red or green, they are like glowing. It's the color of glowing. And that like makes me think of the recent update in GTA 5, the casino update. One of the slot machines says, bask in the glow. All you mystery hunters out there know how the games do connect especially with clues, so I was just wondering if there's any way you can connect that, but I don't know. I mean, how are you supposed to bask with a dead body? You know what, if you do know, don't let me know because I don't ever think I'll need that information. Anyway, as you can see, people are dumping bodies, right in pits, it's just the way it is. I want to give a shout out to my friend Red Tears for actually finding this, but if you take a look inside the coffin, do you guys and gals see what's going on inside that coffin we have a star it is really interesting and crazy this is something that has not been discovered yet before so here's your wonderful easter egg honestly though it's pretty pretty insane like if you shoot certain coffins not every coffin has this but if you start shooting like the corners you'll start to open up the coffin if you break apart the wood enough and you may see or you may not see a star it's like a perfect star too so I'm not sure why there really is no you know solid explanation for it maybe it's just a cool little thing like hey you shot something and now you have a star but that kind of makes me think like a mystery hunter and takes me back to GTA 5 when I was looking at a blueprint map and I was shooting for the stars in case you are wondering, it does work in single player and in online, so go ahead, run and tell your friends and jump for joy. You can shoot a coffin and get a star. So I think it may actually connect to the Unsolved Mystery within the Rockstar titles, so if you're interested, then let the mystery show begin. So what do you do when you're not washing strange men? Let's see, there isn't much to do here except count the stars, you know? For those of you that have played story mode within Red Dead 2, you may remember the odd encounter with someone that claimed to be a vampire. Well, he left different clues 
throughout Saint Denis, and you had to go and basically it was like a reincarnation of the murder mystery within GTA 5 uh, here in Red Dead 2. Well, as you can see, this clue says five bones under the perfect star. Nosferatu with Dominica will become mortal again. And that kind of caught my attention after discovering this Easter egg within the coffins. Because, you know, the coffins are tied to death. And obviously he's tied to death. Anyone that claims to be a vampire, whether it's true or not, uh, you're tied to death. Sorry, but you are there. Anyway, if you kind of take a look at this, you can maybe see what I've seen. Like, where else is a perfect star within this game? And it was just so... just... I don't know, it just kind of gave me a hunch because we shoot the coffins and we have a perfect star that sometimes appears. Why? There's no explanation, we don't know what this easter egg is utilized for, and then he goes on to repeat in his note, or he goes on to say, I'm repeating, but anyway, you get it. Put it this way, the clue ends saying, will become mortal again. Meaning, something was dead, and it's now coming back from the dead. And I know that there's tons of players, including me, that are praying for an undead Nightmare 2 DLC. Like, if we were dead, I'm sure we would come back from the grave just to be able to play it. That's how serious our need and want for this damn DLC is. So, being the eager mystery hunter that I am, I went ahead and I decided to go ahead and investigate and see if maybe this star that we find within a coffin in Armadillo out of all places is somehow tied to clues that may connect to Undead Nightmare, maybe even show us something that could be coming out in the future. Maybe something that's tied to the whole Undead Nightmare theme, like an Undead Nightmare 2 DLC or even something else. Put it this way, at this point in time, we really do not have any way of knowing if that star is somehow associated with anything else. It could just be a standalone easter egg. But I can tell you what, my journey was fruitful regardless. Let me go ahead and show you the stuff that lines up a little bit too much, a little bit too good. So check out this clip from Red Dead 2 of the Sand Vampire. So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing I can't remember. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. Probably zombies. Everybody fucking loves a good zombie. So in my last video, I talked about this strange man that shows up in Red Dead 1, and he also shows up, kind of, in Red Dead 2 and if you take a picture of this cabin or house that's in the swamps uh, we kind of figure it to be his home but I don't know if it's really his home but either way if you take a picture of it with the camera it names itself serial killer there's only one other location that I know about that you can take a picture and you don't have to name it anything you don't have to give it a title because it names itself that is pretty suspicious and anything that's gonna have to do with the zombie apocalypse, to be frank, would definitely be called a serial killer. That is a fitting name. So, let's go ahead and take a look inside. First of all, recently Rockstar accidentally, quote-unquote, gave certain people a mask in their inventory to keep. And this is not just any mask, it's called the Slaughter Mask. Being so close to Halloween, I'm not sure if that was an accident at all, but we'll run with it. And don't forget that a mask was the item that was directly associated with causing the zombie outbreak within Red Dead Redemption's Undead Nightmare to begin with. So getting back to this strange man's house or whatever it is, 
where standing in the mirror that he actually ends up standing in within single player. But if you take a look to the side, you can see this map on this little table here. And it's a map of Armadillo, to be exact. And we know that the strange man actually has his picture within the general store in Armadillo. And if that connection isn't suspicious enough, the map actually has words that say, I offered you happiness or two generations. You made your choice. Now, thinking about a generation, some people can live to be around 100 years old. So two generations could possibly be around 200 years old. Well, if I'm thinking on the right track, then that would mean not only do we have a connection with a map of Armadillo being there, but we also have a connection with the words that are on the map of Armadillo as well. Once every 200 years, this land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Say this land is cursed. You will be cursed if you don't keep a sharp watch. It's just I hear stories about men waking up dead. Waking up dead. <laughs> You're a fool. Used to be quite a nice little town, too. Now it's just dust storms and disease and death. They take in the burning bodies because they can't bury them fast enough. I mean, when you see it, it really feels like something biblical. <laughs> and I ain't a religious man. Yeah. Really, it's a sight to behold. I certainly ain't never read the Bible on account of me not reading and all, but for a place to turn like that, so bad and so fast, you can't help but thinking. This can't be of natural causes. Folk there are calling it a curse. And I ain't a superstitious man, but it's hard not to see it any other way. They are saying this figure appears sometimes there in the distance. Black suit and big top hat, then disappears. Shadowy, like he ain't of this mortal realm. The Reaper and his Sunday best. Maybe they're being punished uh, for sins or something, I don't know. I got enough sins on my tally to figure I'm gonna stay well away from there. And I ain't a betting man, but I put my money on this. Way things are, won't be long before Tumbleweed is the only town left in these parts, and there won't be nothing in Armadillo but ghosts. This self-titled serial killer cabin has more than just a connection with a map. We have writing on the wall, a direct link to Red Dead Redemption 1, as it says, I know you. That was the name of the stranger mission where we actually meet that strange man with the top hats in the first game. Seriously, this guy is basically an unsolved mystery within himself. If we take a look at other parts of the walls, we could see that we have more words. Right over here it says the water is black with venom. The way I interpret this is the water is black with venom could be meaning the whole entire death situation with the water in Armadillo but also water is black or black water. And black water has one of the strongest if not the strongest connection to anything Undead Nightmare because of what we found in black water within Red Dead Redemption 2. Blackwater has various Aztec symbols that are carefully hidden throughout the entire town. All that Aztec stuff! Those weird little artifacts! What? The little fertility statues, whatever! The guy has trouble getting it up! Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. Aztecs, or, or Incas, or, or it doesn't really matter, <laughs> it's all the same. So when you find and inspect these Aztec symbols in Blackwater, you can write them down in your journal, but you still don't know what they mean. After you go ahead and decipher everything, it ends up being tied to the Aztec calendar and everything else is pretty crazy, we get the message, blessed are the peacemakers, Ayatielto, and that is tied directly to Undead Nightmare in two unmistakable ways. The first one is, Blessed are the Peacemakers. That's on John Marston's grave, especially in Undead Nightmare when he comes out of the ground as a zombie, but also it is written, or the message is from, Ayatioto, which is the goddess from Undead Nightmare. 
She plays a key role within Undead Nightmare as she is the god or the goddess. She tries to help John Marston retrieve the Jade Mask, which was the reason the outbreak of zombies happened, and tries to help John get that mask and put it back into the tomb where it belongs so the curse will be lifted and the zombie outbreak can be stopped. So a message like Blessed Are the Peacemakers by the goddess herself found in Blackwater? Yeah, that's a huge connection. If Rockstar wanted to give a nod or a reference or easter egg to Undead Nightmare, they could have done it in a lot more simpler of ways. My name is Ayotioto. He heard there was a mask hidden there that would make him invincible. Rumors going around again about this jade mask. Mumbo jumbo, if you ask me. It's true. Look in that chest. He has a sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. So everything that led up to this point in the video is basically saying yes, we can count on seeing something from Rockstar. Uh, some kind of an Undead Nightmare 2 DLC or something, you know? There's too much, there's way too many connections, there's way too much backing up the fact that Rockstar is pointing it out. Well, I do have a little bit of bad news, but don't worry because I'm gonna follow it up with some very educated guesses here, and I think that the bad news might not be as bad as it's going to sound, but as of yesterday, on the website rockstarintel.com, we have a title that says, Rockstar says it's not focused on Red Dead Redemption 2 single-player DLC or Undead Nightmare. It basically says that in an exclusive interview with VG247's Kirk McKeend, Rockstar Games producers Katie Pika, Tarek, Hamid, and Scott Butchard talked about the future of Red Dead Online and how the company is trying to innovate the genre. In the interview, Rockstar explains that it wants to provide updates to Red Dead Online much more slowly than that of Grand Theft Auto Online, to not overwhelm the player and allow for more obvious progression between updates. The idea is that at some point, new opportunities may be too big to be sustained inside the camp, so maybe it needs to move to another property. At that point, there could be multiple kinds of businesses players can look at running simultaneously, but none of this is set in stone. We're still absorbing the feedback from players from these initial roles, and we will see how we can improve upon these ideas as we go. Rockstar Intel leaked that properties were coming to Red Dead Online last year, and Rockstar has officially confirmed that this is the plan. We want to introduce properties at some point in the future, says Butchard, but claims that the company do not want to leave behind the camp too quickly. Rockstar also says that it is exploring photography as a feature in Red Dead Online, and VG247 mentions that the company keeps stating how much they are listening to feedback and will be working on it in the future. Talking about heists in Red Dead Online, Rockstar says that it is definitely on the table, but they aren't rushing it and wants to work with current updates first before thinking about developing heists. It also said that expanding the map for Red Dead Online was not in its plans right now, but anything could happen. The same goes for Undead Nightmare, which Rockstar says, quote-unquote, it's not focused on right now. Unfortunately, this also applies to single-player DLC, which it confirms is not being worked on. So, that sucks. But, look at what we got going on in the game. Rockstar is, first of all, a company. It's a business. They don't want to, like, mislead their fans or their customers. They don't want to get us all hyped up for something like an Undead Nightmare DLC or, you know, a zombie apocalypse when they're not going to give us anything like that. They're not going to do that. Why accidentally uh, slip people slaughter masks right before Halloween? Why 
do all of the things that they've done, like put all these kind of clues in the game and connections, I think it's very possible that we might not be getting a DLC for Undead Nightmare, but I think it is very possible we're going to get something kind of like an adversary mode. Uh, like in GTA Online, we had the data miners notify us how we're going to have like alien adversary modes and different things like that. and. They're still not released, but everything that these guys have told us is coming has came so far, so we can pretty much believe what they say. So maybe Rockstar's doing something like that. Maybe instead of an Undead Nightmare DLC, we can expect some kind of online showdown event that's maybe limited time during the days of Halloween, where maybe you and other players uh, fight against the zombie hordes, or maybe kind of like what Call of Duty did, where if you die fighting the horde, you become one of the zombies fighting the real people now, and it could be kind of a cool thing. Um, maybe even a free roam event. We know that they um, can easily add them in with the different roles uh, they added in their own specific free roam events for the roles, so why not throw something our way? Give us a bone, and not a dog bone. We want a damn human bone that's gonna wake up and come after us, damn it. And we really don't want it in online. We want some single player DLC. I mean, come on! We've waited since GTA 5, and then we got our hopes up, and then we got let down. And you guys take 15,000 years to come out with a game, so if we had to wait two games, or maybe even three games for DLC, then we're waiting until we're like, like, old and wrinkly. Dude, no! Rockstar, come on now! Stop it! You're rich enough! Stop it now! Damn it! I'm trying to get myself, like, not depressed about this and I'm trying to like think about the positive yeah maybe we'll get something online but damn it that's still just online I don't know what do you guys think there's so much so much within the game within single player and in online pointing at you know the future of Red Dead 2 whether it's online or not having something with a zombie apocalypse I mean Undead Nightmare is freaking all over the place you guys seen the video right so, what do you think? I'm, I'm kind of just, like, hung in the midst right now because I was making this video and then the news came out yesterday and then I was like, oh, well, that sucks. So, <laughs> what do you guys think? I would love to know what your opinions are. Get the conversation going on in the chat or in the comments below and let's uh, see if we can maybe get a petition going and freaking go down to Rockstar Studios ourselves and nail it to their damn friggin' front door. Yeah, let's do it. And we'll dress like zombies while we're at it too. And piss on their cars. Alright, anyway, this video is already longer than I wanted it to be, so thank you for your patience and for your support and sticking through uh, the video so far. I decided I'm going to end the video on a positive note. Let's go ahead and keep the zombie dream alive. Here's a couple different zombie things for you guys. This clip actually is from one of the new uh, free roam events. It was in Salvage. I think that's for the collector uh, role. And I was in there trying to collect treasure and one of the bandits yelled at me and said that they're gonna wear my ears, I think, on a necklace. And that's a direct reference to The Walking Dead. I have the audio raised as much as I can on this clip, so try to listen for it. Here's the clip right here. Hopefully you were able to hear that, but that's not the first time that we had a Walking Dead reference from Rockstar. Don't forget about the Grimes and Kirkman name tags on the officers at Polito Bay within GTA 5. And how cool would it be if we did get a zombie DLC? It's the only way we can raise Dutch's mother from the Blackwater Graveyard's grave and then kill her. How dope would that be? <laughs> And finally, the last thing that keeps me thinking that there's got to be something, whether it's, you know, unfortunately probably not a DLC, but a free roam event, a, um, you know, showdown event, whatever, the thing that keeps me excited is because remember how Undead Nightmare ended? We had Seth grabbing the mask and running away from it. Basically, that is you know, starting the whole entire outbreak all over again. The curse is now upon us. That's how it starts. So, I mean, come on, why did Rockstar end it that way if they weren't planning on coming out with something else? 
anyway, thank you so much for jumping into the video. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let me know in the comments your ideas, your thoughts, your opinions, and I'll see you in the next video or broadcast. Until next time, take it easy, ta-ta, and as always, peace. You look like an animated corpse. Hey, you better make sure Jim don't shoot you in the head. Thank you.